So you've been playing Shadows of Evil and the Giants since the release of the map, and you're just bored. You're tired of going for high rounds, you're tired of trying for high rounds, and you want to do something a little more fun. So I've got the perfect mini game for you that can be played on any zombie map whatsoever, as long as it has a box and pack a punch. That's all the map needs. It doesn't even need perks. So you could be playing on a custom zombie map that doesn't have perks. Now it's gonna be a little bit harder, but definitely it'll be cool enough to do so the game is called the pack a punch game and i'd like to say i uh patent this game it's my game i came out with it so tell your friends if they are wondering but basically what you do is this <clears throat> you got two people you have to have two people it can't just be yourself or it would not be that fun i mean i guess you could do it but it wouldn't be as fun so what you do is you get two people and you hit the box and if you're playing world at war and you get the flamethrower use it for a little bit and then just put it back in the box don't even pack a punch it because it's a waste and so everyone starts out at one or zero rather you start out with the gun that you recently hit from the box you take that gun use all the ammo out of it only shooting zombies and then you pack a punch it and then you shoot zombies using the pack a punched gun until you run out of ammo and once you run out of ammo and get one other gun that's one that's one score for you so every pack a punched gun that is fully used is plus one for you so you keep count and the idea is to get more kills than your partner and to grief them a little bit so if you see a max ammo shoot all of your ammo except like one shot at zombies and then get the ammo they'll probably have a full clip and then there you go you don't have a full clip and if you see your gun if you see your partner struggling with guns like something that's not as good as other guns then that's also gonna be the time to do it like getting uh, an insta kill would be bad for him like if he has a very very bad gun he'll be able to get kills now and um or maybe that'll be good you know maybe that's less ammo he has to shoot but the deal is, is you have to pack a punch as soon as you're done you don't really get to shoot your other gun unless you absolutely have to we had to change the rules up a little bit for this map because i think we are in the death star yes star wars as, as you can see i'm playing with a stormtrooper over there and the funny part is is we actually g spawned out of this game which i'm not too sure how i mean we were playing on pc but I don't know, maybe World of War, the game has a cap. I'm not too sure. Actually, I think I know World of War has a cap. But I don't think uh, normal games like Black Ops 1, Black Ops 2, or Black Ops 3 has such a low cap. I don't think they ever thought of custom zombies getting this big. Because this map is really, really cool. And I can kind of see how we G-spawn. Not really, but I can kind of see it. So, that right there is a mini game. And hopefully you guys can play this. It's very fun to do. All you do is, like I said, you just hit the box and keep tallies of how many times you pack a punch. As you can see, look, he got a shotgun, and this is where it's going to get bad. There's so much ammo in the shotgun, and I even think I get a max ammo that refills his shotgun up. So he hates it, and now he's just going to have to try to kill zombies with it. And really, you got to try to stay alive with it, too. That's the hard part. And... I mean, on different maps, this game could get a little bit challenging. I know my favorite map to play it on is the Reese or the Giant because there's a lot of room. So basically, once you run out of ammo, you're not really supposed to have a secondary gun that you use and shoot. But this map we had to allow for it because, I mean, it's just a tunnel and they keep cycling back to us, as you can see. So it's definitely more difficult than a traditional map with lots of room to run around. But uh, check this out. I did do a bad thing, which is I reloaded my clip. I should not have reloaded my clip, but it filled up his shotgun full of ammo. And I'll definitely dump this PPSH upgraded ammo before he does. So, uh, a little bit more talking about custom zombies, Black Ops 3 side of things. Now, I'm just, you have no idea. I cannot wait until Call of Duty Black Ops 3 comes out. And I just want to let you guys know, I want this channel to be the channel you go to for Call of Duty Black Ops 3 modded zombies content. And I hope everyone can get along here. Like, everyone can comment down in the section what you want me to play, what map you want to see next. Tell me all that you want to see uh, from Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies. And there's just going to be so much, you know. It's just so full. And it's really, really exciting. I just, I cannot wait. And uh, right here comes the G-Spawn. I think, I'm pretty sure right here comes the G-Spawn. Um, but, you know, I'm just, I'm really ready for Black Ops 3. And I'm ready to do just about anything on Black Ops 3 Custom Zombies that I can find. Because 
I love zombies, and, you know, zombies is good to me until this happens right here. G-Spawn, no free entities. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Comment down below what you want to see. Peace.